truths uh, is we are not the body and mind, but women is always in touch with her body. Uh, is uh, women disadvantaged in spirituality? Yes. Yes, women is having uh, some disadvantages in spirituality because she is being uh, more emotional always and uh, because of these emotions <coughs> she is not able to understand the things more clearly because whenever she is listening something whenever she is trying to understand something her emotions are coming in between i give you one example for this i was uh, teaching yoga philosophy several years back in one batch of yoga teacher training and there was mostly women was Americans and I gave a statement that women should have a choice of work huh? the statement was like very simple the women should have a choice of work not a compulsion of work the society should grow up in such a way that we can give a choice of work to women not a compulsion of work but in this batch there was several american women and they started to argue they started to fight like you are discriminating between women and men they don't even understand that i am saying whatever i am saying is good for them but they don't even understand why because of stuck emotions because of their traumas because of their unnecessary connection with the emotions with the thoughts they are so much obsessed by the feminine movement that they are not able to even see that what is good for them and what is not good for them. This feminist movement is a bullshit movement. It is just a women, just a movement to make and destroy, make women kaput and destroy women completely. The feminist movement is to finish the femininity from the world. It is not making women happy. It is making women lonely, lonely, lonely and sick, lonely and sick, lonely and sick. No other choice. No other choice it is giving to it. So, yes, this was felt not only today, this was felt even by Buddha. Buddha did not initiated women for more than 10 years. He did not accepted women students for more than 10 years. He was taking men's students, but he was not taking women's students. After 10 years, something happened and then he started to accept. Even with the Mahavira, who was the last prophet of uh, Jain Dharma, he even said that women cannot be enlightened until she is not born in a man's body. Which, is, which could be, a, if he give this statement today, I think 100% all feminists will be against him and he will be having all the bad name in the world. But these people are not possessed by something. These people are very open-hearted people. They see the things and they say clear and they don't want something good from you. They do not want to receive even a single statement that they said was very good. They was not like your modern teachers, those who seek appreciation in everything what you say. So they said clearly, why they said clearly? Because it always, women emotion always becomes a problem in her understanding. And this affects her spiritual life, it affects her social life. I give you one thing, I'm not comparing anybody. I'm not saying the man is better than women. Man is much more worse. Man is in much more worse condition. Why? Because man is not even trying. At least women is trying. If you go to any spiritual practice, any spiritual master today, their maximum number of students you will find is women. It means what? One thing is very clear that women at least trying and men is not even trying. Men, when he wants to have little stress and he thinks like he wants some change, he goes to the beer bar. He has a beer, he has a wine, he has a vodka. He don't try to go and sit and meditate or do yoga or do tantra or do something else to find some, some another means of evolution. So 
he's not looking for that but women are looking for them they are trying that's why they are more serious more consciously aware than men men and today women are the gap between men and women they are becoming like this 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 women are more elevated than men the only problem is they don't know how to release the traumas of emotions from their past life that is the only one thing which is holding them down so i will say more or less yes it affects them but it is not impossible they have a different path like most of the women those who are going to the path of yoga they are struggling with this kind of problems but they have a different path they have a different path and if they go on their path yes there is a way where they can express and they feel free and not feel regret for any kind of emotions okay so this is the thing which you need to understand which you need to work and uh, women is a very beautiful creature i always say is that uh, in this universe according to me women are the most beautiful and most strongest creature the only thing which make them weak is their emotions but emotions are also the beauty of women how to handle the emotion this should be learned all other is perfect in your life